serious issue on Cabo Bayan today, bullying, which is becoming so prevalent now. A lot of people for, falling prey, falling victim to that. Uh, we have attorney Karina Castaneda, criminal defense lawyer, talking about that on the legal aspect. And, of course, our licensed L, uh, marriage and family mm -hmm. therapist, Gail Renier, on the social, psychological side of things. We ha they have tips to share with you in just a little while. But it is also Talk Tuesday, especially for our viewers in Southern California. We are taking your phone calls. Tony is uh, our first caller of the day. Tony, magandang hapon sa iyo. Uh, magandang hapon din po sa inyo, uh, lahat sa ating mga nanonood sa kababayan. Ang tanong ko lang po, kasi nabuli yung anak ko dito okay. sa school, no, until now, then nagpo-post din siya sa internet. No, ngayon sinabi na we report that already in the school principal, pero parang wala silang ginagawa, no. Mm -hmm. So, ito ba pwede ba namin ilapit sa police station? Ang police station dito sa Rampart, wala rin eh. No? Baliw, hindi kami pinakikinggan din eh. So, pwede kami lumapit sa ibang police station para i-report siya ang pagbubuli ng sa anak ko. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Okay, kid being bullied, uh, they reported to the, which is the good move, talk to the school, but the school is not saying anything, doing anything. And this is what I say to all victims of crime, okay? okay. You need to be able to keep a journal. You need to detail um, the time, the date, the occurrences of, of whatever um, the crime is, the bullying, okay? Because the, the, the reason for this is for, for your case to reach the magnitude you want it to, which is to be taken seriously, for, to be mm. investigated, you need to give them something to go on. So you need to, first of all, I always say this, when it comes to the bullying, okay. you need to go first and keep, you know, the parent needs to have a sit down with the, with right. the child. Right, print out the Facebook page yes, or yes. the page online where it's, the bullying is occurring. Right. Document the dates, document the events, document who they are, mm -hmm. okay, and then bring that to the school. Mm -hmm. Bring that to the, and they should have a policy in place. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't work concurrently, you can bring it to your um, police law enforcement agency, and you've done that. You need to file a police report. Yes, will they, you, do, you will, need to do that. Will the cops file a police report even with no injury, no physical injury? Yes, they will. And they, they, and has there been an injury to your son? I, Madam I don't. Well, I know. Well, well I know. We, yeah. Well, on the show. Oh. Okay. If, if there's, there's an injury, an, injury, mm -hmm. an assault, okay. or something like that, and, and it's risen a level of stalking, uh -huh. or even a hate crime, you know, for us immigrants, it could rise to the level of hate right. crime right. because they're using words that, you know, connotes hate crime. Right. That should be investigated. If they're not investigating it, go talk to their watch commander. Okay. That is the sergeant that's there. That he is the so, talk to the person in charge. So keep at it. Yes. Right. Keep at it. Be persistent about it. Also, the more adults you involve, oh, for example, okay. teacher, teacher, principal, aid, whatever, oh. and then you need to have a meeting. Uh -huh. Like Karina was saying, you need to have a meeting that it's documented that you have. That, okay. that the incident has occurred. Right. So when you say the more adults you involve, because also, ang mga biktima at perpetrators ng bullying, pabata ng pabata, well, we're getting younger and younger. Also because you have to look at it this way. The, the kid that's being bullied is slowly coming to a realization that there are no more options. Uh, so when you have no more options, that becomes a trigger for being desperate. And then what do they do? Taking their own lives. Taking their suicide, own lives, right. doing whatever. So the more options you give them, which uh -huh. is by giving them resources, giving them, getting uh -huh. adults to help them, uh -huh. and maybe even the, the caller should also think about getting him into a therapist so that they can figure out whether, you know, how he's okay. doing. All right. We actually have a teacher on the line who called in anonymously, but uh, he or she is a teacher. Hello, magandang hapon po. You're on the air. Hi. Good afternoon. Uh, I just ha I just happened to be listening, and I I just wanted to to add up to what uh, you've been talking about to the one of the parents who called about being bullied, you know. And gusto ko lang sabihin na hindi lahat ng kahit kami mga teachers sinusulat namin yan pinapadala sa office pag nakikita namin pero hindi nabibigyan na kaagad ng 
<laughs> bakit po? Bakit daw po ganon? Have you ever have you challenged maybe authorities in your school principal na bakit hindi pinapansin? Sin, kasi gagawin nila, we have to really write it in detail. We did that, the time, the the place, right? You know, and then itapadala namin. We are going to send them to the office, and uh, you know, then they will send it, send the child back. After 10 minutes, you know, they talk to the child. But right. It's okay. Enough. Well, so, then uh, uh, one time, you know, instead of sending him to the office, I, I sent him to the counselor. Okay. Maybe the counselor can help better. What mm -hmm. not yeah. I, 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 you know, I'm right. just saying that uh, I feel so bad because, right. you know, when a parent calls, Okay. Uh, ma ma yes. Thank you so much. Bakit bakit hindi pinapansin? Is that well, a common first of occurrence? All, yes, it is a common occurrence. Because they think that the kids will always no, move. No, not be only that. What? And dame. There's so many problems in schools. But listen, mm. the the loudest gets heard. Okay. By that I'm saying, mm -hmm. for the sake of your child, yes. because this is not easy to come to you. One out of ten go to their parents. Mm -hmm. One out of four will go to law enforcement. 50% of teens are getting bullied, cyberbullied. Mm -hmm. This is rising amongst women and okay. girls. Right. So the point is this, go to the school board. Okay. Go to the school board. If a principal's not doing anything, if a teachers aren't doing anything, if the counselors aren't doing anything, go to your okay. school board. Guess what? You elect those people. Right. Uh, yes, the loudest gets heard. I like that. We're going to be talking a little bit more, plus taking your phone calls when we return on the show. Don't go away.